the limpets have to be fairly small or otherwise have a really you know flat surface on a rock because the limpet has just a standard shell and the limpet could not fit around the curve you just have to you know find a, a fairly flat portion Kaichi's that flexibility of the shell and the sort of the, the mantle around them they can make a really tight seal you know around a 90 degree angle or or you know, different shapes so that that lets them grow larger and fit in all sorts of different areas you don't find limpets mm -hmm. so yeah they're you know really strongly attached can they use that as a defense mechanism as well to like a soul bug i think they can roll up yeah yeah, yeah they can yeah. roll up the other neat thing about chitons is um, chitons graze, so they, they, they eat just plankton, or not plankton, but like little scum of, oh, okay. of algae oh, sure. on rocks. Yeah. And they have that radula, that scraping mm -hmm. tongue uh, of teeth. And because it's doing that on rocks, they have they iron in their teeth. What? They have um, that radula, which looks like you know all these like, saw teeth, uh, is reinforced with iron, metallic iron. Uh, to cap it off, because otherwise they would just be ground down to nothing. And if you get, I don't know if we have any, but if you get a, a kite, some of the chitin radulas, you can, and it's dry, you can pick it up with a magnet. And, will, and that's that's a really, so so that's, if you ever, I don't know if we ever can try and do that with some, but if you have, like even just in a little vial, like if you ever talk, talk to people about a chitin, it's a really good way of showing it. Mm. You have a dry, you know, um, dry radula in a vial, and then you just take a magnet and just hold it up, and you'll just pick it up. Wow. And you can, you can use that to say, like, you know, here are these animals, and they're, you know, they're fleshy, and they're, they're, they're very biological, but here's this metal they've actually deposited as part of their own body. You know, and that's really kind of crazy. It's something that feels very inorganic. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really, really interesting. There'll be a lot of questions after that. So does it do that over time? Yeah. Yes. So, it's, so it's when it was young, it would have very little, and as it got older, it'll yeah. be more and more. But, but, and it does that continuously too. They have that radula is a long strip, and it's actually very long. It actually goes further back in. And the, the, the very front bit is the bit that gets sort of used to, to scrape. And a bit like sharks, it continuously recycles, or, or the ones at the very end get ground down and fall off. And it's, and it's basically on a long tape, and they're basically just continuously producing more at the new end. It's like a conveyor belt, it's yeah. just slowly coming through. Mm -hmm. The ones in the very beginning are very soft, but they're not, you get the color changes as well. They're sort of you know, clear or a brown, and then by the end they get black with magnetite, or you know, that, that mineral iron that gets you know, uh, put into it. So that's a, that's a really exciting, interesting fact. About so do all creatures that have radula do that too? No, mostly the, the, the rock scraping, you know, mostly the chitons. I'm, I'm thinking on a particular snail, and I can't for the life of me think of its name. But uh, there is a snail that will go around, it has a radula too. Yes. Almost uh, all snails have radulas, uh, and we'll use it to, to scrape, but maybe, maybe, it's, it's, a, it's a field that has not been well investigated, um, so we may find more and more, um, more and more um, species that are using you know minerals to yeah. to reinforce. but they don't have iron like i don't think so no i have a question about that yes. uh, about about our uh, mm -hmm. creatures um are what were we just talking about i'm sorry i have these You're talking about chitons. 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 Yeah. we have a chitin uh, uh we've had them in the past and not so much now that likes to turn over yeah. mm -hmm. and expose itself yes. What's it doing and why? Uh, is it like crawling up the wall and then doing like yeah, one? Yeah, it goes yeah. to the top of the water and then it yeah. goes yeah. backwards. Mm -hmm. But That's if you so play your flashlight on them, because mm -hmm. people want to take photographs, mm -hmm. and you've got this and you're doing this, and he's just reacting to it, mm -hmm. isn't he? Yeah, he likes it. it's amazing. Yeah. He's probably he's probably reacting because he doesn't like the light. I mean, they're, they're, it's it's called phototaxis. Mm -hmm. um, they they react to the. I mean, they. They don't have eyes, but they have little photo sensors mm -hmm. in their in their plates uh, or all around the edge of them, and it's probably reacting because it thinks it's been the rock above it has been turned over. They don't really know. Um, it's it's probably just exploring the tank. Um, it's and you see slugs and snails do the same thing. They come up the side, 
and they reach the they, they reach the surface and yeah. they think maybe there's like an overhang or so you're kind of reaching back mm -hmm. to either the sea urchins do that too yeah oh, okay. at the aquarium I think it, it, it's too. it's not it's not really a behavior yeah. that has any he's not rearing back like you know particularly for a reason but he's, he's he's traveling up and he's just trying to see if there's any like can you get a hang on anything oh, okay. else it's a great um, photo of yeah. mm -hmm. you get yeah. people and they're just oh, yeah. absolutely mesmerized. You yeah. see, sometimes little, really small sea slugs will, will motor, you know, they'll, they'll motor around the tank on the glass, and they're they're light enough that they'll come up the side of the tank and then they'll hit the surface tension on the water and they'll just transfer over to that mm -hmm. and they'll still glide upside down on the surface tension of the water. So you'll see that occasionally for like really small sea slugs. Yeah, but the anemones are a lot, a lot more. Well, the, 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 the chitons, chitons yeah. are much more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. so. The iron in in the black right, right, yeah. um, is that? Do they mm -hmm. gather that from the rock that they're exploring? Or uh, they're usually in the sea, in the sea water, in the, just in the water. In the water, because because seawater has actually loads of dissolved, you know, dissolved minerals and mm -hmm. things in it. So they they just slowly. Pull that out of the water and, and deposit that would it down. be in the algae too. Yeah. Mm, I don't know, maybe, no. maybe some. Because a lot of seaweeds have lots of iron. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, actually, yeah, they probably they probably from digesting that they pull up you know the stuff that the the seaweed has uh, has taken up as well, like a mm. like a what's it called bioaccumulation. Mm. Mm. So people have have had some idea of looking down the microscopes. I mean, I. Mm -hmm. I, I 